The definitive statement the game of lacrosse has made in expanding to all corners of the United States and North America received its exclamation point here this afternoon. The number four seed Denver Pioneers are the 2015 Men's Division I Lacrosse National Champions after defeating the number six seed, the Maryland Terrapins, by a score of 10 to five here at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Denver Pioneers become the first school not located in the Eastern Time Zone to win the Men's Division I Lacrosse National Championship. For head coach Bill Tierney, it is his seventh national championship, the first six coming in the East Coast with the Princeton University Tigers. He left Princeton in 2009, and that move was met with a lot of shock across the lacrosse community heading out west to start a program pretty much from scratch. But that move was made for days like these. His seventh national championship coming in the Rocky Mountains at the University of Denver. And speaking of expansion, of the 10 goals scored by the Denver Pioneers, five were scored by a native of British Columbia, Canada. Wesley Berg putting in half of Denver's 10 goals in this contest. The Pioneers pretty much led from start to finish. The 2015 national champions, the Denver Pioneers, a 10 to 5 decision over the number six seed, the Maryland Terrapins. And after the game, I talked with one of the other players for the Denver Pioneers, Connor Canizaro. He last year was playing for the University of Maryland. This year, he transferred to the University of Denver, and now he's a national champion along with his brother, who's also on the team, Sean Canizaro. And I asked Connor, has it sunk in yet that he and the Pioneers are national champions? Uh, it hasn't set in quite yet, but I mean, I know it's a dream come true. I've been dreaming this since I was a little kid, coming to these Final Fours, and uh, it's an amazing feeling. We're just uh, really relieved to finally uh, achieve it. How many of these Final Fours have you been to, maybe as a spectator, and then now, of course, the couple here um, as a player? Uh, probably this is my sixth or seventh one, at least, so it's a good feeling to finally win one. <laughs> And now on this field, you win a national championship. What does it mean to have the fans coming from Denver, from all over the country, to support you? Yeah, we have amazing support. It just shows how much uh, the game's grown, and it's an uh, amazing feeling. Who can write this script? You're playing at the University of Maryland last year. You're ACC Rookie of the Year. You go to the Final Four. You come up short against the Irish. One year later, back in the Final Four, and you're playing against the Maryland Terrapins. Yeah. Did you write this script? Uh, it was... It's funny how it played out, but uh, I mean, even playing my old team, it was just another game we had to win, and we did. And not only you scoring this ball game, your brother, Sean, yeah. scoring as well in his final game. Uh, uh, what does that mean to you, not only winning the national championship, but literally enjoying it with your brother? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, we're going to share this experience for the rest of our lives. Uh, where, uh, where are you going to put the net that is on your hat uh, right probably now? Probably going to give it to my mom or dad, and they're going to put it in the house somewhere. <laughs> Connor Kandazow, congratulations on being a national champion. Thank you. So congratulations once again to Canizaro and the Denver Pioneers, champions of men's lacrosse division one in 2015. For the Maryland Terrapins, their haunted history in national championship games continues. Today marked the 12th national championship game appearance for the Terps, their record now two and ten. And as a matter of fact, their loss today marks the eighth consecutive time the Terps have lost a national championship game. Only one player scored more than one goal for the Maryland Terrapins. That was their leading scorer and attackman, Matt Rambo. He had two goals in the contest, but not nearly enough to make a dent in that staunch Denver defense led by goalkeeper Ryan LaPlante, who had 13 saves in the game, five in the first quarter as the Denver Pioneers jumped out to a 4-1 lead and did not look back today. The Pioneers, national champions in 2015 in men's lacrosse. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com where we have a feature article on Wesley Berg and Tyler Pace, a couple of Canadians from British Columbia, Canada, bringing and helping to bring a national championship out west to the Rocky Mountains. Once again, the Denver Pioneers champions in men's lacrosse division one in 2015. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, this is Adesina Korki for a lot of sports talk.com.